Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. It's me Candice the Aries coming to you guys today with a video on my opinion as to why I feel like parents help create the monsters that we date. Okay, so you guys, first things first, yesterday was my birthday. Yes, April 5th, shout out to all the Aries up in the house. Aries, stand up. We, we hate it on the most, but we always get loved the hardest because y'all know y'all love us at the end of the day. Y'all don't like us being blunt, but who, who else going to tell you like it is? Who? 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 Huh. Anywho. Um, I'll do a little recap video uh, right here. So yeah, you guys, I had a ball. Um, thank you to everybody for every phone call, every Facebook message, every video call, every messenger message, every text, every everything, you guys. I felt loved uh, as I do every birthday. Uh, another year greater, you know, more to come, of course. So let's get right into the topic, you guys. Um, I've been debating on whether or not to make this video. Um, I'm still trying to kind of I'm kind of trying to find my place on YouTube as to what I should talk about. Um, it, I have so many things that go through my head all the time. And then sometimes I'm like, you know what, maybe this is too um, risque perhaps to talk about. Or maybe I shouldn't talk about this. Maybe I shouldn't, you know, just based on like how I feel like other people might interpret it or how other people might take it. But at the end of the day, um, I could say it's a beautiful day and there's going to be somebody that disagrees with this. So I'm like, might as well just talk about what I want to talk about. So let's get right into it. Um, I, and of course, this is my opinion. I strongly feel like the reason why I feel like, in my opinion, a lot of parents, not all parents, but the reason why I feel like a lot of parents create the monsters that we date is because of this. Um, let's start with a man. We'll just start with the opposite. So a lot of men as um boys, they're raised to not cry, not show emotions. They're raised to um, fight. They're taught how to fight. They're raised to be like aggressive. Basically, they're raised to be, they're raised to be, a lot of boys are raised to be aggressive. They're raised to just basically not show any emotions, but if they do show emotions, that emotion that they're supposed to show is like anger or just being mad or just, combative and things like that women on the other hand are raised to be dainty and timid and of course feminine they're raised to you know show emotions cry because we understand that and all that the, the total opposite they're not raised a, a lot of girls are not raised to fight a lot of girls a lot of girls they learn how to fight. They're not taught how to fight. Let me rephrase that. A lot of girls are not taught how to fight. They learn how to fight because other females will try you because they're jealous, because they want what you have, or just because they just basically, they don't like you. They don't like how you look. Everybody else is bullying. Just, it's, it's multiple reasons why people pick on other people. So a lot of girls, they, they learn how to fight based off of their life experiences. But a lot of boys are taught how to fight. You know, they're taught, boys are taught to a lot of boys, not all, but a lot of boys are taught to know how to defend themselves. And basically to, if you're going to show emotions, show it with your hands type thing. So what happens is these boys grow up as men to be men. These women, these girls grow up to be women and they get with men who were taught to not show any emotions, not cry, um, be aggressive, to fight, to show your emotions through physical, um, like to get your emotions out physically um, as opposed to verbally. And they get with women who are nice and dainty and timid and have a lot of emotions and things like that. So you get you put them together and they're automatically, automatically oil and water. They're automatically don't go together. So what you get is a lot of women who are 
just being women, just emotional because that's just how a lot of women are. And then men who are like, what is wrong with you? Like, what is wrong with you? You're always crying. You're always talking to me about this. You're always talking to me about that. You're always doing this. You're always doing that. Because a lot of, and because a lot of women are emotional, you know, everybody shows their emotions differently. So if you get in an argument with a man, um, and certain types of men, you get in arguments with certain types of men and you make them feel a certain type of way or you make them angry. Sometimes if you're dealing with a certain type of man, you get hit because that man was raised to show their emotions through violence. Don't talk about it, be about it type thing. So then a lot of women started, started getting beat on and things like that. Um, what happens is like the women end up getting with men who are there. They're automatically their opposite because they weren't raised the same way. Um, I kind of feel like women, like parents, I get it. You know, parents, you know, kids are going to be, the different sexes are going to be raised differently. But I do feel like it's important to kind of raise them with knowledge of both parts. You know, don't just raise a boy completely to be just so aggressive and so just like, nah, I ain't I don't cry. You know, that's that's a that's some females do. That's a female trait. You know, I don't, I ain't on cry. I don't show my emotions. I ain't finna talk to you about nothing. I'm just gonna keep it in. I'm gonna bottle it up and then I'm gonna wait for it to explode and then I'm just gonna hurt everybody type thing because a lot of times that's what it ends up doing. That's what ends up happening is like these men they get with women who a lot of women and I ain't a lot a lot of women are raised to basically like uh if he ain't doing this and he ain't doing that you need to let him know he ain't doing this and he ain't doing that and you can't talk to everybody any kind of way you just cannot because you don't know how this man was raised so you can't talk to everybody any kind of way so I, a lot of times women will say things to men that will trigger men and if a man has already been known to put their hands on a woman it's like okay well you're gonna get it too you're gonna get it too but on the flip side, because women are raised, a lot of women are raised to be this type of like, you know, very, uh, just a very emotional type human. When they get with men who were raised to be a man and have all of those, you know, be brave, be masculine, you know, but you can still show your emotions. You can still verbalize how you feel and things like that. Women, look at the men like they're less than women look at the men like they're soft sometimes they're like you know you be crying and stuff like that when i be talking to you when i be telling you about stuff when you be talking to me about stuff you'll start crying and stuff like that and i try to be dealing with dude to be crying all the time like you mad emotional and it's like but you cry but it's because i'm just sweaty y'all you know i put some shea butter on side note and i shouldn't have did that my face was so dry like i was not trying to come up in here dry faced it on this video but back to the my opinion but it's just like women who like women who get with men who show their emotions they like look down a lot of times they will look down on men who do show their emotions because they were raised also that men are not supposed to show their emotions so what happens is it's like it's like you can't win either way. The scales are so unbalanced when it comes to this. It's like you'll either get with a man who doesn't show any emotions and that's very combative when it comes to showing his emotions. And if you show your emotions to him, you're looked at like you're very emotional and you just got too much going on. You don't know how to control your emotions and stuff like that because they're like, why are you acting like this? Because they were never allowed to act like that. And so sometimes if you're dealing with a man who has a lot of aggression in him because of whatever he went through in his life, a lot of those women that end up getting beat on. If you stay, then you're just going to be in a full-fledged abusive relationship. It happens. Um, and abuse comes in many different ways. I'm sure you guys, you know, check out my video about um, me being in a, in a verbally abusive relationship. It comes in a bear, in a lot of different ways. And it's sad in on any occasion. So it, it's either that or a woman will get with a man who does show his emotions and who is understanding and who who does show their more sensitive side. And women are like, you know, man, you mad soft. You be crying more than me. You cry all the time. You do this, you do that. And I don't like that because I, I ain't used to no man that be crying all the time. You know, I want you to get buck with me, get rough for me. It's some women who like a man who will rough them up. Like a lot of women, it's not a lot, but there are women who like a man who will be like, get buck with him like man shut up talking to me blah, 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 and push you up against the wall and all of that stuff so like yes he know how to take control of me like girl no that's not what we're doing not in 2020 not in no year so 
it makes it very unbalanced when it comes to dating and that goes that's not just for men and women it's 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 masculine and feminine so you could be in any type of relationship with any sex and the masculine and feminine um they're they're raised differently they're just they're raised a lot of times they are raised differently and i think that's when you when you meet somebody that you're match that actually can understand you and it's like okay well you know i understand why you're emotional because you know i feel like that too i remember being young as a little girl and i would just cry and i would cry because i feel like crying and my aunt would be like why are you crying and i'm like i feel like crying and she's like would well, go over there and cry but I was allowed to cry. When you're young, I feel like when you're a young child, you have so many different emotions in you. And you don't always know how to verbalize them. You know, all of this stuff is very new to you. These feelings are very new to you when you're a child. But when you're a, a male child, a lot of times you're told to shut up. You know, you're acting a certain type of way. You're acting like a girl. Don't be crying all the time. You know, toughen up. Do this and do that. And then that does something to a male emotionally as well. Your words impact children a lot. And I had to learn that being a parent, that my words impact my child, um, just like anybody else's words will impact their children. It's like the things you say to your child, be it positive or negative or indifferent, it affects them in different ways because everybody is not going to interpret things the way they're meant to be interpreted. So I just kind of feel like if people took more time kind of showing their kids like both sides. And I don't really, I don't really buy into that whole, like, you know, I wasn't raised that way. So I don't raise my kids that way type thing. I feel like just because your parents didn't show you different things in life, like if your parents didn't hug you and you always wanted to be hugged and then you have kids, and you don't hug your kids because your parents didn't hug you. To me, it's like, I would feel like you would want to hug your kids. You would want to show your children what you didn't receive as a child. You would want to show your kids what it's like to be hugged and what it's like to be loved because you weren't given that as a child. Now, it might be a situation where it's like, because you weren't given that as a child, you don't know how to give it as a parent. But it never hurts to try. Like, you know, I feel like it never hurts to try. And I'm not trying to bash anybody who raises their children a certain type of way. Everybody's not going to like the way I raise my son. You know, it is what it is. Everybody has different parenting styles. Everybody has different views on how they raise their children. But I am I want my son to grow up and understand both sides. Understand that it's okay for you to show your emotions and it's even better for you to verbalize them. You don't have to go around and be like this aggressive person in this like, I'm big and I'm bad and I don't do this and I don't do that and I'm a tough guy type person. It's like, you can be that, but at the same time, understand the other side as well. Understand that you can talk about your emotions and you can talk through your emotions. And if you meet somebody who doesn't understand that aspect of you and doesn't understand that side of you, then that person is just simply not for you. If you get with whoever you're going to be with in life and that person doesn't accept the fact that you do show emotions and that you do want to verbalize how you feel instead of bottling things up, because that's super duper toxic on both sides, whether you're a man or a woman, if you just bottle up all of your emotions, like that's super duper toxic because it's going to come out and it's going to come out in a negative way. And a lot of times, what people don't understand is when you hold those emotions in, it can literally make you sick. Like it literally affects your body. It affects your organs. It affects you as a person. It affects your mind and everything because you're not able to express yourself and you really need to express yourself. So I just kind of feel like that's my feelings on why or how parents create the monsters that we date. It's important to show your kids both sides because when you don't show them both sides, they grow up and they become men and women who don't understand the opposite sex or don't understand their partners as being somebody that it's like they don't understand that their partners need to they they need to be able to understand themselves and understand their partners they need to understand why they feel the way that they feel and understand why their partner feels the way that they feel and vice versa it should never be a time where you're looking at your partner you're like what's wrong with you like you always just mad emotional you be crying all the time got an attitude you should understand like you should be able to at least kind of understand and conceptualize like okay well you know 
it's a time of the month and you know i know like you don't feel the best right now i know your emotions are doing this or your emotions are doing that or you know it's okay if you feel sad sometimes or do like okay well you know you had a bad day at work honey and i understand that you know you want to talk about it you know we could talk about it if you want to talk about how your day was like i i understand that you know you had a bad day so that's it you guys because i could talk about this all day long but that's just my um opinion on that i'm about to be bulk recording so it is what it is just one of them days so yeah so as always you guys that's gonna be it for me candace the aries and always remember to enjoy the journey